Hi there, this is Patricia at Prescott Studio, and I'm pleased to share with you this little tutorial on how I build my pastel paintings, often using this pastel ground technique. It's important when using this method to have a plan and to build your composition. Uh, I used a pastel pencil just to roughly sketch it in, and I've done an underpainting using a pretty blue and black and some bronzy colored acrylic inks. Next, I like to be sure my pastel ground has a tint to it that keeps it from drying with kind of a whitish pasty feel. And I just add it to the whole tub because I use it over and over again. And the tone doesn't matter too much because it kind of dries as a neutral. Next, I apply the ground with a stiff brush and I go in the direction of whatever it is that I'm painting. In this case, it's a water flow, but it could be grasses or tree trunks or rocks. A little goes a long way, and you definitely want to pick and choose the areas where you apply it and let the UR paper do the rest. While the ground is still wet, you can take a wire brush or a dull X-Acto knife and make some marks that will add to the texture later. Now the fun begins, starting uh, dark to light, just with a very light touch. Uh, you can drag the pastel across the textures that you've created and uh, just see what, what happens. It's, it's really fun to see how the textures evolve. And uh, if there's something that isn't working or you've got the wrong color on there, you kind of can blend it down and try something different. It's not shown in this video, but before I went in with these top layers of texture, I uh, laid down some pastel and I blended it to the what I wanted to be underneath the texture. You can see in these time lapses that I go back and forth and I do a little blending and then I come back with some top layers that are much more textural, really just playing until I achieve the, uh, the feel I want with the light hitting the water. So this part of the video shows the piece laying down flat and truly just the weight of the pastel being dragged can create this texture just because it's going over the, uh, the dried pastel ground. For this piece, there was just a few moments where uh, using heavy pressure, dusting out to almost no pressure, seemed appropriate for the goal of achieving that, that bright light just glistening across the water. The final stage can often be to come back with that wire brush again and just uh, pick and choose areas where I want to actually delete or get rid of some of the pastel dust, uh, leaving, you know, strokes going in certain directions. And because of the pastel ground, you get these fun, unexpected results sometimes. And as with anything, the more you practice it, the more fearless you become and just experimenting and trying new things. So here's the final result close up. And kind of see how that texture came through from those beginning stages. And I thought I'd share some other pieces where that pastel ground initial phase really was an integral part of the final result. UART paper affords me just endless experimentation. I feel like it's practically indestructible and therefore I become a bit more fearless. And I thank them for inviting me to share one of my favorite techniques.